What's up guys, it's David coming at you from Organic Price Books with a very special video today. Uh, I know we already did an unboxing of the custom uh, Witchblade Darkness uh, Lazarus that JP got, but we are going to be doing a, a deeper, a little, you know, a little, not a full deep dive by David, you know, just, just a little plunge in, with, uh, plunge in and plunge yeah, out. So, dip, dipping the toes. Yeah, dipping the toes like, mm, just, just the toe. Anyway. JP heard his toe, so it's, it can't be his toe. Uh, all right, <laughs> so we're going to be looking at Witchblade today. Uh, this is the uh, custom set that JP got. It, it covers everything Witchblade from, you know, it, obviously this is custom, so there's not like an actual volume uh, for each one, but it's basically the whole series here, the companion right here, and then, of course, the crossovers with everybody. So we'll take a look into all of those. Before we get started, guys, if you want to be eligible to win a $25 gift card, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. Tell me, do you like how this looks? Uh, I love that that he, you know, the the um, creator or the the binder who did this put it all in one picture like this. This is really cool. Yeah. Um, and we'll go through each book so that way you can see it more in detail. Uh, but this is just so cool. I like it a lot, and it looks so cool on the shelf when we have it. Like the darkness one has has is over there, and we'll do that one as well. But uh, the witchblade one is cool, so let's take a look. All right, and then just just as a comparison, so this is the of course custom set. This is the trade paperback. This is the what witchblade volume two, the yeah, complete it's volume the same two. Same size as the hardcover as well. Yeah. So look, there you go. Um, even with the lifting up, you're getting. I guess the pages are bigger on this one. And this is the omnis. Or the compendium, basically. The compendium, basically. Yeah. Compared to it, so it's actually still bigger than that, as you can see. There's maybe like half an inch uh, that is over for the custom-bound omnis, and of course, you know, you're getting you're getting a lot more bang for your buck. But you know, you get you get your own custom piece, one of a kind, right, JP? One of yeah, a kind. One of a kind. All right, so let's take a look. And we're gonna compare the pages for you as well. That yeah. way, you can tell <coughs> what format each one has. Oh, I'm gonna put <coughs> some of these big boys down. We're gonna go with the first one. So this is the uh, volume one for the the custom one. Here's the front, the spine, of course, as you saw, and the back. And let's take a look at it without. And these, uh, this dust jacket for is a lot thicker than the ones for like the regular uh, Marvel and the DC or the other ones. So it's it's also custom and it's really thick. Like I, I, it's, it's, it's not paper, I think. It's more like a, like a vinyl plastic kind of thing. Really cool. I feel like this is much more secure for the custom book than than uh, the other ones that you get. Like, I don't think I could tear this. I'm not gonna try though. I'm not gonna try. <laughs> uh, I need somewhere to put them because I don't wanna. You know, let's just put them right here. This is look. Oh, it'll. it'll oh, looks so nice. Okay, so then this is the front of volume one, the spine, and the back, and it completes the picture. Correct. Let's do it. Let's take a look. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so we'll just I'll just show you a little bit of it, um, and then this I was actually t telling JP this is super 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 smart of the person who who binded it. Uh, so as you can see, you'll see like a white part right there, right? And I was like, why is that white if it's colored? So then when you open the book, you know you don't get gutter loss because the white is just extra paper so that he can bind it together without getting any sort of loss on it. Super smart. I was like, whoa! I did not even think about that. Uh, and let me show you. So the pages on this are thick. They're uh, more matte than the, for example, let's say this is the the trade paperback. As you can see, the trade paperback is a little bit glossier. The paper, the pages are thinner. Um, you can't tell, but I can tell. So they are a little glossier um, than the custom bound. And let me show you the the actual hardcover. And let's see. Yeah, well, the hard covers are always really glossy. These are super thin compared to it, bro. Touch it, touch it, JP. <laughs> super thin and yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are more matte, but it's fine. You know what? It's it, I feel like this is a more secure page than this one. Uh, and then, especially since it has to be custom bound and it's such a thick volume, I would much rather have secure paper on it when when uh, reading it. So, like it says, it covers all of volume one. Uh, it covers, it uh, doesn't really have like, does he include? Uh, oh, you know what he does, what? All right, so this collects, this one for JP collects uh, Witchblade Origins, volume one, Witchblade Origins, volume two, which is Witchblade issues one through eight and nine through 17, Witchblade Origins, volume three, which is 
issues number 18 through 25, which were Compendium Volume 1, which is issue 26 through 40. Yeah, and you can see the back right here as well. Um, let's try to get it not blurry. Try to focus, focus camera. Focus, focus. focus. There we go. And you see what it collects right there. So that's really cool. Yeah. Nice. <coughs> and uh, yeah, you know what he probably did? He, he, oh, did we he have the companion. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see that. That's cool. So like the edges of the dust jacket have the the witch blade, basically the glove yeah, so on either side it, of it. It looks cool. Yeah, <clears throat> that is real nice. Okay, so oh, I'll just put it over here. So it looks like yeah, since the compa since it also brings the the companion one, that's probably where they put all the extras. Oh wait, no, look, we got covers. So these are probably the the covers for each issue. That's cool. And Mark Silvestri did a lot of this, and, and I always liked his, his style of drawing. You know, he definitely captures the uh, the essence of the Witchblade. You know, the, the essence of the Witchblade is captured beautifully here. Nice. Okay, so that's uh, Volume 1. Let's go to Volume 2. Here we go. This is the front, the back, the spine, the spine and the back. All right, and let's take a look. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> another. Oh, I. You know what? I like that he puts. It's basically a, a whole display. Oh, and then, so, so yeah. So the ends are always going to be the gauntlet. The that's whiskey. cool. That's good though. I like that <coughs> uniformity. You know. And look at this. Look at this one. This one's cool. All right, and then I like how each each one has a different uh, cover page. So this one's yellow, the other one was orange. And then let's see here, uh, this one covers Witchblade Compendium Volume One, which is issue number forty through fifty, and then Witchblade Compendium Volume Two, which is issue number fifty-one through seventy-nine. Have you read any of the Witchblade at all? Oof, just. Uh, back back in high school, I used to I used to read it for the, you know, for the for the story. That's the only reason. <laughs> I read I read Darkness a little bit, and then I played the video game. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, I think her name is Sarah Passini, who who controls the Witchblade, and the Witchblade is basically a gauntlet weapon, and it's also sentient, so it actually can think for itself, um, and it gives her powers. It gives her a lot of powers. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, tell you the powers right now. While we get volume three checked out. All right, so volume three, here's the front, the uh, spine, and the back. And then, of course, so we got the gauntlets in the, the what is this called, the edges? I would just say the bookends. The bookends, and let's see the, ooh, That's a cool oh, cover. and this one is cool. I dig it. Yeah, very nice. Uh, all right, so let's take a look. This one has the pink page. I like that. Yeah, this is really cool. Like the amount of, of thought that's put into this is really cool for all of these. Uh, and this one, volume three collects, let's see. Uh, Witchblade issue number 80 through 85. Uh, 80, uh, Witchblade volume two, Awakening, which is issue 86 through 92. Witchblade Volume 3, Gods and Monsters, issue 93 through 100. Witchblade Bearers of the Blade Special, Witchblade Volume 4, Eternal, which is um, issue number 101 through 109. Uh, Witchblade Volume 5, Firstborn, issue 110 through 115. And Witchblade Volume 6, uh, which is volume 116 through 120. And let's see here. And I like how she can make it into different like jewelry. Uh -huh. It doesn't just have to be like the whole glove. She can make it into a bracelet, like this ring that connects. And sometimes it's just a regular uh, bracelet. This one is really cool. I like how he he picked different art, different styles for the artwork. And okay. Volume four. And so whenever the Witchblade picks somebody, because it, it actually picks somebody, kind of like, you know how the Green Lantern yeah, ring yeah. Picks, picks the bearer? It's kind of the same way. But in this one, if if the if you try to put on the Witchblade 
and it doesn't like you, it'll cut off your hand and kill you, basically. He did. did. He did. Very nice. All right, all together. Woo. Oh, that's cool, too. I think it kind of looks like a symbiote in this one. Yeah. That's what it reminded me, too. I thought it was like an alien thing, but it's actually not. It's actually, spoiler alert, the witch blade is actually the, I guess you could call it the child, since it's actually sentient, of the darkness from the darkness series. And then this, um, I guess, like the heavenly part of it, or like the, if the darkness is like the hell, the hell, then the heavenly part is called the Angelus uh, in okay. this universe. Okay. And the Witchblade is actually a, a child of both of them. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, this one, volume or the volume four collects, uh, <clears throat> let's see, numbers, issue number, or Witchblade volume seven, which is number 120, 120 to 124. Uh, let's see here, volume eight, which is issue number 125 through 130. Witchblade Redemption, which is issue 131 through 135. Uh, Redemption Volume 2, Issue 137 to 141, uh, and Witchblade Redemption Volume 3, 140 to 144, Witchblade uh, Redemption 4, Volume 4, number 145 through 150, Witchblade Rebirth Volume 1, which is issue number 145 to 155, and Rebirth Volume 2, which is num issue uh, 156 to 140. All right, here you go. Very nice. Oi, that artwork. The different artists on this, because I know March of Luxury started, but different artists that took over definitely like add to the, to the, this looks like a hand tasting. But yeah, <laughs> yeah very for, nice. For those of you guys who read Witchblade, would you recommend it? Would you recommend Witchblade or would you re recommend Darkness? That's true. I feel like there's a lot more Witchblade than there is Darkness. Whoa, this is a lot of covers, man. And which one's your guy's favorite cover as well? Let us know. Like, this whole thing is, is all covers, bro. Woo! <laughs> wow. There's some really cool ones, though. I like this one with the hand, like, just covering the picture. What if this lady came out to you and JP said, Hey, let's go out on a date. JP, what would you say? <laughs> I was like, oh, I got, uh, a, I got a friend named David. <laughs> he, he doesn't discriminate. <laughs> <laughs> he does not. <clears throat> uh, wow, this is a lot of covers. So they each have a lot of all the covers that are included in them in the in the back of it, which I didn't show for the other ones. But that, I mean, it's it's just a lot, guys. It's it's a lot. We're just kind of doing, like I said, just a just a toe in the water, just a toe in the water. All right, this is vol volume five, and. Here's the front. I like that walking away with the walking away view. I like that. <laughs> the spine. And the back. And then we will take the chest jacket off of this one. Ooh, very nice. That one's cool. Man, they're all really great. I they are really cool. <laughs> I'm super impressed with this, like I said. I like the orange on this one. This one's orange. And let's jump into it. See the different art styles? I really like that. Uh, and then, yeah, so the, the, the glove also talks to her. Uh, but basically, it's been passed down from from um, different users. Each, each generation gets to one. Uh, and... Um, basically what she can do with it she can make blades she can shoot fire uh, the act the armor actually covers her or the the witch blade covers her like an armor depending on the um, the person that she's fighting it'll cover either her whole body or if she's let's say she was fighting me and JP it would just barely cover her boobs so the armor covers her more the, the more danger she's in basically <laughs> <laughs> oh this one's cool I like that so this is basically the last of the story of, of the Witchblade. And the other two I'm going to show you are just extras. And it's, man, those are those are insane. This one's cool. Okay, so this is the covers already. Oh, Day of the Dead one. That one's really cool. I like the negative, how it's, like, the negative colors are part of the dress. That's super cool. Witchblade. She's gangster. Gangster. Get those fists up. There's a lot of covers. Oh, 
But yeah, guys, did you read Witchblade? Are you still reading it? Have you caught up with it? Uh, I heard there was actually going to be a uh, a reboot of this, or uh, you know, with new artists and everything, starting in 2022. Really? Uh, there was a Kickstarter they were trying to get. Oh. Okay. Yeah, to fund it. But the series, this series, ended already. I believe it was in 2000, either 18 or 17 that it ended. So that's cool. I mean, yeah, as long. I mean, I kind of wish it would be a different like since you can each. Each uh, Witchblade has its own, like, story. They should do, like, a different Witchblade, not have the same character. Cause the then... Witchblade sisters. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. So this one is Volume 5. And we'll show you the Compendium real quick. Or the Companion. And here you go. Look, it's Lara Croft. Cool. Uh, yeah. The spine. And the back. Let's <coughs> take a look. Oh boy! This one's cool too, man. Seriously, the the amount of the amount of detail that was looked into for each of it is so cool. Yeah, I think this one's my favorite one. But I, <laughs> keep, I keep saying that each time. I know they're all so good. <laughs> okay, so the companion uh, includes Tales of the Blue Witchblade number one through nine, Witchblade Infinity number one, Witchblade Nottingham number one. Which played Demon Reborn number one through four. Which played Destiny's Child one through three. Which which played Blood Oath number one. Which played uh, Oka Obakemono. Which played Animated number one. So it's like different. Um, I guess there's you know basically just the side stories to it. It's not have to do with the main story, but she's still in there. And you know this is definitely an adult themed uh, comic, so beware of that, guys. There's definitely gore. There's some nudity. I mean, her her armor basically is just her almost fully naked. Uh, Witchblade Case Files, The Art of the Top Cow, Witchblade, Witchblade Bearers of the Blade, and more. So let's see if there's any of the extras. Oh, look at this. It's gold. It's different. Are these like different Witchblade characters now? Yeah, so basically, she can, yeah. She can kind of relive the memories of her of the previous people who held the Witchblade. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, and then she actually has some additional powers. Uh, depending on how how her affiliation is with, like, the darkness or the the, the holiness or whatever, so, she can so resurrect so. the dead. <clears throat> I think a lot of them are going to be like this. Whoa. I think these are all, like, extras. Oh, okay. Here. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's really cool how you accounted for the gutter loss. Oh, genius. Yeah. Genius. Wow. So you get a lot of like these cool like extras like this. Very cool. And I guess we'll flip it back. Where's it's still, oh, is it going? Yeah, it's still <clears throat> going. <clears throat> Did you ever watch Kill the Kill? No. The, and the anime? No. This reminds me of her. Dang, that's, a, that's the whole glove. I like that. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the Vinny Gauntlet just a little bit. Yeah, because of those like stones on it. Yeah. Yeah. I bl- I, uh, you're right, JP. JP, man, all of these are just like this. Oh, oh, oh hey, hey, whoa. Uh-huh. All of them are like, whoa, hey, whoa, what's up? Yeah, a lot of cover art. There is a lot. Okay. And then bearers of the, of the blade. And it kind of tells you. So this is really cool. So it kind of tells you each of the different people who have... Who have used it in the different time so there's like the egyptians uh, the like the asian ones the medieval ones joan of arc oh that one's cool so it tells you look the year that they had it in that's actually really cool i like that a lot yeah this one shows a lot of information yeah so you get like you get a big like a i say a, a third of the book with cover art and all these extras about the you know, the bears and all that as well. Yeah, look. And then you have a color gallery introduced by Stanley. Nice. <coughs> That's really cool. <coughs> There's so much of this. This is this is insane. Like, seriously, I'm super impressed with this. As you can, guys can see, you it just... Anything Witchblade is in here. So, <laughs> JP's got the whole collection. Um, and, like I said, he's, he's gotten a lot of emails for people wanting to know... Uh, the information of the of the person who did this, just because this is impressive. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm seriously impressed with this, and I haven't even gotten to my favorite one. Which let's get to it. You know what, JP? Let's get to it. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah, but for those of you guys who want to reach out and get, get a copy of these for yourself, stuff like that, just send us an email. We'll hook you up. Guys, this, I think, is the biggest book on here. Um, let's see if we have a copy of... Like, not even... Where's the, the Sin City one? Oh, yeah, the top. Look, so the Sin City, Big Damn Sin City book. Oof. It's thinner. It's thinner than this one. Look at that. Let me put it. Let me let me lay it down so you can see it. Look, <coughs> look by like half an inch. Whoa! And this one is the crossovers, so I'm excited for this. Let me put this in city book over there. Whoa! So this is basically all of the crossovers in the front. You can see Spawn there, which is cool. And here's the spine and the back. It's not like a. It's not a. It's not a overlapping one. All right, but this one is what? Who is there? Who's showing us? Who's there? Is somebody. That the, is that Mephisto? I don't I don't know who that is, but somebody. Oh, it just might be like... A, all right, so this... Oh, this is all of just the crossovers with other uh, comics, and then, like, the uh, the sheer amount of different titles that went in there is, is, is crazy. So let's take a look. Uh, you got, I believe, this is Spawn. So this is, like, the whole Spawn collection. Let's see. Uh, JP, you want to read out all of those? Man, that's uh, a lot. This is a lot. Well, yeah. David Flips, I'll read it out. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Collects Medieval Spawn and Witchblade 1996, number 1 through 3. Medieval Spawn and Witchblade 2018, number 1 through 4. Devil's Reign Crossover, Witchblade, number 11. Weapon Zero and Silver Surfer. <clears throat> Psyblade and Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider and Ballistic. Ballistic and Wolverine, Weapon Zero, number 10, Cyber Force number 30, Silver Surfer and Witchblade, Wolverine and Witchblade, Witchblade and Electra, Electra and Psyblade, uh, Silver Surfer and Weapon Zero, Witchblade and Red Sonya, number 1 through 6, Witchblade number 1, Battle of the Planets, number Whoa. What? That's cool. <clears throat> Witchblade um, number 1, JOA in Witchblade, Overkill, Witchblade and Alien, Darkness Predator. What? Yeah, one and two. Which played Tomb to Raider? Tomb Raider, number one. Tomb Raider. Which played Magdale Magdalena? Magdalena. Magdalena and Vampirella. Tomb Raider. Which played Revisit Special. Vampirella and Witch Blade. Uh, there's a lot of Vampir <laughs> Vampirella Witch Blade. Union of the Dam. Lady Death. And Medieval Witch Blade. Gosh, this, this is so much wish <laughs> You have a lot of aliens and darkness and predator mind hunters, number one to three. <clears throat> which played Dark Dark Mind, the, the Return of Paradox, which played Wolverine number one, which played Punisher number one, Weasel Guy, which played which played Shed of Grey number one or four, which played Dark Slide number one, and which played Lady Death number one. Oh wow. my gosh, that's so Dude. Many. That was cool. Look, so I guess the the Witchblade got onto the um, onto Wonder Woman. There was a cover. Look at that. That's cool. Haha. <laughs> That's really neat. That is cool. Wow. This is insane. Oh, that's the alien one, bro. You got to see this. Look at the color on this. Look at the color on that. Oh, that's neat. Dude. I like how they had the heat sensor. Yes. There. Very nice. Very, very, very cool. So there's the alien. I mean, I wonder if it could even infect her because she has the dark, you know, the, the witch blade or even the darkness. How could it can be affected by it, you know? That would be interesting to find out. Is this Shaquille O'Neal? What? <laughs> ah, that's pretty funny. That is pretty, pretty, pretty funny. Wow. Tomb Raider. Man, there is so many of these and they all look really interesting. Like, you know, guys, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, these crossovers to me are really cool. Uh, like, my favorite, one of my favorite stories is the Batman versus Aliens. So, watch, looking at these crossovers like this is, is to me, like, really funny, but also interesting. Like, it's something I want to read. There's Vampirella, a, a, Man, there's so many. And the artwork on it is all really good. 
Let's take a look which one's this one. Oh, more aliens. And then there's more aliens. <laughs> look at this alien. Ugly. Wow. Very, very cool. This is, this is like I said, seriously impressive. This is like the biggest one of all of them, guys. So, as you can see, it collects a huge amount of crossovers with, uh, from Justice League to Wolverine, Mephisto, Aliens, Tomb Raider, uh, Battle of the Planets. So, man, it includes all of those. And there you go. So that is the last one of the Witchblade uh, books that JP got, which covers everything Witchblade from number one all the way to the very end. Um, like I said, if you guys want to know information about the uh, whoever who made the custom for JP, please shoot us an email. Uh, just because you know we want to make sure that uh, that this guy doesn't get bombarded. But if you're really interested, he can do like what else did he can he anything do? Anything you can think of. Like, yeah. Any 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 comic book series, anything. He, he'll make the design. He'll do it all. He'll put it all together for you, stuff like that. So he does really great work. Yeah, guys. This like I said, I was super impressed with this. Um, like now I'm just thinking, which which one should I do? I'm gonna ask him to do some Batman one. <laughs> I know, right? We ha he did uh, Batman by Frank Miller uh, for somebody as well. Nice. And he has a, a whole Instagram page. Just reach out to us. We'll send, we'll share you his uh, link and everything. That way you can see his previous work as well. Yeah, guys. So let us know what you think. Uh, do you have customs? Uh, what do you think of this one? Did you think like that? You like how they made it, or would you have changed something? Let us know because we we definitely like to have that conversation. Uh, you know, because if you, you know somebody who does customs and maybe they want to, uh, you know, reach out to us and, and possibly, you know, set something up, that would be cool. But this one, like I said, is the first time I've seen something done for JP. Uh, you haven't had any other ones, have you? Uh, no. Not not specifically for you, but this is cool. This is amazing. Um, I, I really loved it. Uh, and JP's going to do Darkness next. So keep an eye out for that and I'll see you guys on the next one.